Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, quick update um, as we are heading into Sunday, really not much going on today. I, it was really a, uh, a non-event day, but not surprising, no surprises at all. That was um, when we entered the day, also my perspective that we are probably going to move around a little bit between the Friday low and the Friday high. If you watched the first video um, today, well, actually yesterday, so it was the, the Saturday video, um, depending on your time zone, then you know that I highlighted this as basically the forecast for the day. It was indeed a slow day. And um, yeah, the, the structure is unchanged. So my idea is still that we are probably moving down here in this B wave. I mean, it could be something more bearish, right? But that's the first scenario that will be tested. And that is going to be challenged if we go down a little bit lower. One more low is fine, maybe even two more lows. As long as we don't break below 62,540, I can go ahead and continue to follow the white scenario in which we are close to a low, I believe. Um, see, we, we could be in the yellow count. yeah. And if you if you watched previous videos, then you know that the yellow count is the more bearish one. Still, though, part of an overall bullish scenario. There's absolutely no evidence at all that we are in a bear market or anything. People talk about that again. And people talked about it here, right? And now, yeah, I mean, this price action certainly over the last few days makes it a little bit more uh, less likely that the white count is holding. Yeah, and the reason is just that, you know, we broke below trend lines and so on. For example, um, often they move in channels, these diagonal patterns, right? And this trend line, for example, broke. You, you can draw the trend lines in different ways, also for price channel, but they all broke. So, yeah, it's, it's just not, there's no great way of drawing a channel anymore. And that's the thing. And th this B wave is getting quite protracted, right? There is wave B of three. However, the move to the downside looks extremely choppy. It looks corrective. It's certainly not impulsive to the downside. We have this double top. The double tops typically indicate that this top will be taken out at some point. Um, they rarely hold. Okay, they rarely hold. They might act as temporary reversers. Yes, but um, eventually they will be taken out. That's at least what likelihood suggests. So probability wise, I'm still slightly leaning towards the white scenario um, in the yellow one. Okay, we are going to visit the lower main support area again. And that could be added, uh, you know, you know, that might be another opportunity. So trading wise, I think quite simple. I mentioned quite frequently that, you know, you could just sort of see it as a trading range, right? And um, accumulate as we go lower, you know, just be mindful that the price could in the current scenario easily drop down to 50,700. But um, that means you have to just be wise with with your position sizing. I think the likelihood is high that we visit the lower support region again. So that means, okay, you need to keep some capital aside if you want to accumulate here as well. But it still needs to be confirmed with a break below 62,540. At the moment, this is listed as the alternative. And I still primarily follow the idea that we are uh, it's going to start the C wave at least, you know, at least I need to, I'm watching the areas from where it could happen. At the moment, there is absolutely no evidence that this C wave to the upside of wave three has started. So we're still moving in this price channel. And in this move down, which is a B wave, we are likely sort of in um, wave C of Y. And in this C wave, which is a five wave move, we are likely moving in the fourth wave. So one more low could be could be enough. I haven't labeled it, but it's also possible that we get two more lows. And the idea then would be that this A wave only bottomed here and the B wave is now unfolding. But as long as we're holding below the initial resistance area, which is defined between $66,320 and $67,115, there's no need to change the scenario. So only three waves up as well. So have we seen the bottom? I mean, maybe, but yeah, no, no no evidence for that at the moment until we break above resistance. So I really just want to keep it short. There isn't much to say. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be a more exciting day, especially towards the end of tomorrow. So hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership 
Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.